It's funny how we all do things on specific days. Like Tuesdays are Tiny Tuesday. Well, at my Cold Stone, Tuesday mornings are girls morning. So whenever I'm there in the morning, I can just tell that I'm in the way. I can tell that the whole time they're just waiting for me to leave so they can do their girl stuff and talk about their girl things. I don't know. So I hurry up and did this cake so I could leave and come back later and finish up what I need to do. But I also do work tonight because we have a college deal, which makes our night super busy, which leads to most of my employees requesting Tuesday nights off. But I love when it's busy and it's so fun because the majority of the people that come in on Tuesday nights are college age. But this cake was fun to make. It was for their dad. And they specifically asked me to make a video so they could show it to their dad. So I hope your dad has a great birthday and I hope you guys enjoy the cake. I assume he likes chocolate, but if not, we're in some trouble. They got all kinds of chocolate, even on the inside and outside. I have a ton of more cakes to make before I leave for vacation, so you guys get ready. Do you ever have such an amazing employee and then it comes time for their birthday and you should probably make them a cake, right? Well, I would do that, but Jessie's not an amazing employee. Nah, I'm just kidding. But Jessie, she's low-key a brat, but she's funny about it. So it's all good. But today is Jessie's birthday, so everybody tell Jessie a big happy birthday. She wanted me to make her something pretty, and so I decided to go with hydrangeas. They're just fun and different, and they look really nice. So I started on the side with a dark, deep green, and then I blended that with white, and then I did white on top. And then I did some maroon and pink hydrangeas on top. I did three bundles of those, and then I did some green leaves to match the bottom of the cake. Once I had all that on top, it was time to write her message. Happy filler year. Nothing cool happens at 19. No, I'm not mean enough to come up with that. That was what Jesse wanted. It was either that or happy nasty 19, and so I think this one's a little better. I go on vacation just for a few days, and next thing I know, I'm getting tagged in all kinds of videos because all these little kids are trying to be me. If anyone does a POV and a voiceover, they obviously just want to be just like me. And if you haven't understood by now, this is a joke. Yes, they've all said they've been inspired by me, but no, it's okay. We can all do our own thing. But I will tag some of my favorites. Morgan at Ancaster DQ, Milad at Subway, and Mr. Jack. He works at our favorite Chipotle. I've been holding onto this video for a week. I worked about eight hours getting everything ready for me to go on vacation. Not only did I have to wrap things up, I also got a lot of orders from you guys so I had to get those done as well. But as I was getting ready to leave, this sweet lady came in. And it's her niece's 16th birthday today. And what she wanted so much for her birthday was a cake from me. And so I was definitely not gonna say no to that. So I stayed a little bit later and made this cake for her birthday. Abby, you better give your aunt a big hug because not only did she order this cake for you, but she also drove it three hours for you. So happy 16th birthday, Abby. I hope you have a great day and it was a pleasure to make you this really fun cupcake cake. I'm so glad I got to make this for you and that's why. It's been a long time since I had someone do something like this, but they mix actual cake into the ice cream for their ice cream cake. Their first layer was sweet cream ice cream with yellow cake and whipped topping mixed in. And then they had a layer of yellow cake and a fudge mid layer, then more ice cream and mix-ins, and then their last layer of cake. Then it was time to wrap the whole thing in white frosting. The whip topping made the cake super soft because whip topping doesn't freeze. So I had to be fast with this one. So once I covered it with the white frosting, it was time to add my chocolate shavings to it. I did them all the way up the side and a little bit on top. Once I added the board to the top and the bottom, it was time to write my message in pink. What do you think the message said? I find it so sad that a few people ruined a good name. Karen's daughter follows me here on TikTok, and she wanted me to make a cake for her 10th anniversary. So happy anniversary, Karen. I hope you guys enjoy the cake and have a great day. Guys, I want to challenge you to stop using Karen as an insult. There are still good Karens out there, and that's why. As you get older, your taste buds change. Even just the thought of fruit in my ice cream used to gross me out. But ever since we started playing that game on here, where you guys get to choose the ice cream and I have to eat it, I've become more open-minded about fruit in my ice cream. This is a cake for Gracie. She got sweet cream ice cream with blueberries, strawberries, and banana in it. Then a layer of chocolate cake, some strawberry puree. Then it gets more sweet cream ice cream and more fruit. Okay, even if you don't like fruit in your ice cream, you have to admit it does look really cool. Once that's all mixed together and flattened out, we're gonna add our next layer of cake. Then it's time to flip that over and decorate it. I made this nice purple color for her cake. Then I'm gonna smooth that all out. Once that's all smooth, we're gonna add our sprinkles to the side. 
I just did these ones halfway up this time. Purple always looks good with white, so I added some white rosettes on top and then put some strawberries on top of there. Then added the green leaves to the strawberries. I guess it really is true that. A call the other day from Summer. At first, I thought it was just a prank order, which we get often now. But it turns out Summer is a real person and she really wanted to celebrate her and her boyfriend's anniversary. So she ordered this little cake. It's our petite size and it feeds two people, so it was perfect for her. I hurried and decorated it for her because she wanted to pick it up extra early. She seemed young and the whole time she wouldn't mention TikTok. And that's why I was so surprised when I got It's kind of crazy to think, but I don't make cakes unless they're for you. It's super rare that I just make regular cakes now. I have learned over time to delegate my tasks, which is so crazy to think about how much growth I've had as a manager. But I've assembled a whole team to make cakes with me. So now I honestly only make cakes for you guys. And man, do I get a lot of orders for you guys, but I love it. But this was just for a regular customer, but they called and asked if they can get a few hours earlier than normal. And none of the girls were in, so I did it for them. Hey, listen close, I'm gonna tell you a secret. This stays just between you and me. Yesterday, I was being sarcastic in a video and it went viral. Don't tell them, they don't know I was being sarcastic. I don't know how they missed it, but it's fine. My sister works at Cold Stone with me and she often has a negative attitude and I'm the opposite of that. So I was jokingly apologizing to her, but there actually are haters though. Don't attack her, but I've been asked this a lot, so I'm gonna answer this question. Yes, I have a bachelor's degree, and yes, I still work at Ice Cream Place. There's so many different ways I want to go with my answer, and I just woke up so this isn't super well thought out. But to begin, I'm a Christian. I was raised in church, and when I went to graduate high school, I tried to decide what I was going to do with the rest of my life. I was 17 when I graduated high school, and I was not ready for that. I knew most places don't really care about what's on your degree. They just care that you have one. I grew up in the church, and I didn't want it to be someone else's faith. I wanted it to be my own, so I decided to go to a Christian college and learn about Christianity to see if it's even something worth believing in. And I did just that. So I don't regret if I never do anything vocationally with my degree, because in reality I use it every day. And I'm thankful for my job. It's taken care of me for eight and a half years. And now I make more money than my friends that went to school for four years and hate their jobs. It's just a question, so...